Well, it's day two of ACC tip-off from Charlotte, and the men are in the spotlight. Of course, the defending ACC tournament champions and the Virginia Tech Hokies shining the spotlight on them at this point. The Hokies feel like with all the new pieces they have, as well as the returning players, they have opportunity to repeat as ACC tournament champions. Our internal leadership is a, is, has never been uh, in a better place. Um, um, Vasily has uh, been uh, aided uh, by having the experience with this summer with Mutz uh, and those conversations. And uh, I'd like to play with Mutz too, the way he passes the ball and his, his willingness to, uh, to pass. I think just a natural joy for life. <laughs> you know, I think just a natural, that's just the way I catch, the way I approach life, you know, I think on a daily basis. Um, so when I step on the floor, I'm just being who I am. You know, I can't really control that sometimes. I really can't. Like Coach Young said, we're playing basketball. So if you're not having fun, then I don't know what you're doing. So it's just one of those things is you just we're out there having fun, working hard. And when you have a season like last year, you have that confidence coming into this next year and thinking that we want to repeat and do the same thing. So I think we know what it takes to do it, and we're working harder now to accomplish that. One team that definitely knows what it takes to win an ACC tournament title as well as compete and win a national championship, the Virginia Cavaliers. Of course, last season wasn't the season that we're used to seeing from the Virginia Cavaliers, but this year's team, they have a lot of experience, and they hope to use that experience to have a turnaround season. That's why I think uh, the way we've always tried to build our program, and you look at the NCAA tournament, the most, almost all of the good teams last year were very experienced teams, guys that had played a lot of college basketball. So that's, you know, you, you always talk about get old, stay old. How do you get guys into their upperclassmen years? It used to be with your program. Now it's a little more piecemeal together, but we have that this year. Going into last year, it was my first year playing under this system. And then most of the guys besides Kihei and Reese, they weren't playing on the court as much. So just having all that experience from the starters being back to Ben transferring, playing a lot of college basketball, we have a lot of experience under our belt to help us get ahead than we were last year. Just you can't teach experience, right? So um, players like Ben, Jaden, Armand, me, um, we've been through the grind. We've been through games. Um, and it, it's not the same as when you're in high school and, and you're just coming out your first year. So um, being able to go through those experiences and then show the young guys on what it takes to, to get to that level. So there you have it, the ACC tip-off wrapping up here in Charlotte. And both the Virginia Cavaliers and Virginia Tech Hokies, they both have high expectations to have strong seasons as basketball season will tip off next month. In Charlotte, reporting from the ACC tip-off covering Virginia Tech and Virginia, Jermaine Farrell, WFXR Sports.